Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Marketing, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up variations or offer variations within ClickFunnels. So recently I had this question from Jordana in my Facebook group. So, hey Nathan, I'm trying to sort out the easiest way to allow people to buy multiple product or multiple of a product with variation. So say a t-shirt where they can select their correct size, but then also allow them to buy two or three, et cetera, shirts not necessarily all the same size. And then she has a second question, which is a different question. So this is what we're doing, variations in ClickFunnels. Now to give you the strategy here for offering multiple variations in ClickFunnels, I designed this little flow chart. So basically you'll have a sales page selling your t-shirt or whatever, and then you'll have your different colors of shirt that you wanna offer. So green shirt, blue shirt, red shirt, etc. And then basically, these, are, these represent buttons, uh, and each button will take them to a, a separate order form page. So you'd have like a green shirt order form page, a blue shirt order form page, a red shirt order form page, and then on those order form pages, you'd have the CF Pro Tools CF Cart Mode plugin, so that way you can, so that way people can select more than one product or order multiple quantities, and then basically, no matter which one they go through, they could go to the same order confirmation page, or if you have OTO offers or whatever else you might have, you could build that out the back end. Alternatively, instead of having green shirt, blue shirt, red shirt, you could have you know small, medium, large right here on the sales page, and then have uh, different styles or something like that on the different order form pages. So you could do it that way as well. But we're gonna go with colors on the sales page and then different order forms and so on. So this is how I would go ahead and do it. And we're gonna go to ClickFunnels now and set this up from scratch so you can see the entire process. So here I'm in ClickFunnels, got a brand new page here. And I'm just gonna select an opt-in page, doesn't really matter. Could do a sales page or whatever page you want for the, the sales page. And I'll open it real quick. And I'm just gonna delete the whole thing, add a new section, be sure full width. So we'll add a new row, and then we'll have some buttons on it. So pretend like we got a whole big sales page, right? Selling this super awesome t-shirt we got. And then it gets down to where the person gets to select their color. So we got a green, green shirt. And then let's just duplicate the button real quick. Add some margin. We got a blue shirt. Blue shirt. And then we got a red shirt. And red and red. All right, cool. So there's our three buttons, green, blue, red. All right, green, blue, red. We'll save it, whatever. Okay, save. All right, let's back out of here and go set up our order form page real quick. So I'll do, let's come to this page right here because I haven't selected a page type yet. So I could go ahead and select the order form page type now. And we will go with sales and order form. Wow, ClickFunnels added a bunch of bunch of new templates. I don't know. I haven't seen all these templates before. This is brand new. I'll go, come down here to the old school stuff that I'm used to seeing. And wait for this to load. And we'll edit the page. And I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm going to delete everything out of here anyway, but all right, let's delete this out of here. Delete, delete, delete. Delete, all right, cool. So add a new section, we'll go full width again, add a new row, one column row, and add a new element. I'll actually add a headline real quick so I can write the type of product that they're buying so I can tell the difference. So we got green shirt. Okay, then let's add a, just a two-step order form. Two-step order form. All right, cool, looking amazing. Green shirt, save. All right, now I wanna to go to CF Pro Tools and add in the CF Pro Tool cart mode, CF cart mode. 
right, and then this is a paid plugin, so I'll, I'll probably have blurred the code. Uh, if you want it, go to cfprotools.com and you can go ahead and add it. But what it does is it allows people to add multiple products to their, their order. So we'll check that out in just a second here. The settings, tracking code, footer code, paste that code in there, close it out, save it. And then we'll back out of here. And let's go ahead and add the products real quick. Make sure we install our CF Pro Tools code correctly. So we got small green shirt, green shirt, $10. All right, create product. And then we got a medium green shirt, $10, create product. And then we've got a large green shirt, large green shirt, $10 create product. All right, now let me pop up my page real quick. See if CF Pro Tools script is firing correctly. So let's fill this out. Oh, that works. Oh, go to step two. All right, so this is what CF, the CF Pro Tools script did, was it added like a quantity option. So I could add, you know, one small green shirt, two medium, five large green shirts, and that way I can add multiple products to my cart, right? Hopefully that makes some sense there. All right, so I'm happy with this page. This is my green shirt page. So green shirt, update funnel step. And then, oops, publishing. I meant to rename my funnel step, green shirt. I actually don't wanna create that path. All right, cool, green shirt. So then essentially what I do is I clone this funnel step once I get my cart looking the way I want it to look. Add it to funnel. And I would make a blue shirt page. Blue shirt, update funnel step. And I'd come in here and I'd add a small, medium, and large blue shirts over here. So very simple, self-explanatory. And then I'd do a red shirt one, right? So that should make some sense. And then I'd also add an order confirmation page so that way people land on that page and hopefully you're, you're understanding that. So then of course I would go ahead and link the buttons on my sales page to the individual order form, but order form pages. So I got my green shirt button, green shirt, set action, go to website URL, paste it on in there, save, and then I grab my blue shirt order form link, blue shirt, blue shirt order form, I'm scared I'm gonna say a, a swear word, blue shirt, set action, link over to the blue shirt page, so that's, this is my funnel now. So here's my sales page where I'm selling my shirt and then the customer can pick out their cool color. They want a green shirt. So they go over to the green shirt order form page, green shirt, fill all this stuff out. And then they could add multiple quantities to their cart thanks to the CF Pro Tools plugin, CF Cart Mode. And so yeah, that's how you go ahead or that is a way to go ahead and add multiple variations to a ClickFunnels funnel. Uh, basically, if you understand this diagram right here, you could go ahead and get creative with it and create different ways to offer people the variations that you guys, or that your business sells. So hopefully this all makes sense and shed some light on how to offer multiple variations within ClickFunnels.